This morning, the city of Baltimore with new accusations against the owner of the Dolly, the cargo ship that lost power and slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge last month, causing it to collapse, killing six construction workers. In a new court filing, lawyers for the city argue the Dolly's owner failed to repair known power problems before the collision, saying even before leaving port, alarms showing inconsistent power supply on the Dolly had sounded, but the Dolly left port anyways. The company has sought to cap its liability at $43 million, but Baltimore leaders argue the liability should not be capped, claiming the company's negligence caused them to destroy the key bridge and single-handedly destroy the port of Baltimore, a source of jobs and revenue for the city. I think the last big devastation was the pandemic and prior to that 9-11. In the case of a port closing, what's the nearest port that we can bring this product into? The collapse halted most traffic through the port of Baltimore. Salvage crews have opened three temporary channels to allow some vessels to pass through, about 15 percent of normal traffic. But the main shipping channel is expected to remain closed for several more weeks. As a result, experts say consumers can expect higher prices on some goods, primarily industrial products and home building products. I think that's always a certainty, to be honest. I think um, you know, most suppliers are, are of the mindset that they have to pass costs along when, when unexpected things happen and costs increase. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.